Alright, good morning boys and girls. Welcome to another Foundry Shakeout. My name is Hannah and I am conducting these lessons for you guys. I'm going to start off today's class by asking your guys' opinions on some things. So, I'm going to give you two options and you can decide either out loud or in your head which one you think is better. So our first two are cats and dogs. Hmm. We also have sports or video games. How about running and dancing? Vanilla or chocolate? Rainy days or sunny days? Playing outside or playing inside? Crayons or markers? Hmm. So if you were to ask multiple people these questions, not everyone's answers would be the same. We all have different opinions about things like animals or hobbies, but one thing is always true, and that is that Jesus is greater than everything. Our Bible story today will tell us that one day all the people and all the creatures in heaven and earth will worship Jesus. He alone is worthy to sit upon the throne, and he alone deserves all the praise and honor. Alright guys, let's think about a time that we felt important. Maybe some of us are in sports and we scored a really big goal that won the game. Or maybe some of us are in dance and we got to dance on stage and enjoy a little solo or something like that. Or maybe you made a drawing and were able to show it to your family and just felt really proud of it. So it feels good to feel important, but in our story we're going to learn that Jesus is the most important person of all time. He's the greatest. We'll learn that all people and all creatures in heaven and on earth will worship Jesus. So before we begin, let's remember our big picture question. Remember our question is, what will happen when Jesus returns? And the answer, if you guys can remember, is Jesus will destroy all evil and make all things new. So that means even though we face troubles, pain, and sadness now, one day those things will be totally gone. We know that Jesus will come back because he always keeps his promises. He promised to return and he is faithful. So where in the Bible are we? Do you guys remember back at home? That's right, we're in the book of Revelation. It's the very last book of the Bible. So two weeks ago we learned that Jesus appeared to John in a vision to tell him about the end of time. We've heard quite a bit about John's amazing vision of Jesus in the future. Last week, we learned that Jesus told the seven churches to stand strong in the faith. Today, we're going to hear more about John's vision. Our story is called Jesus on the Throne. So guys, I'm going to have you guys open up your Bibles or follow along in your heads to Revelation chapter 4 verse 2 through chapter 5 verse 14. Again, our story is called Jesus on the Throne. So, John was on the island of Patmos when he had a vision. Jesus appeared to John and showed him what will happen before the end of time. John wrote about what he saw in the book of Revelation. John saw a throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. The one seated looked like fiery red stones. A rainbow like an emerald surrounded the throne. He saw 24 thrones around it and 24 elders sat in the thrones. Each elder wore a gold crown. John saw four living creatures around the throne. The first creature was like a lion. The second creature was like a calf, a baby cow. The third creature had a face like a man. And the fourth creature was like a flying eagle. Each creature had six wings. All day and all night they said, Holy, holy, holy. Lord God the Almighty, who was and is and who is coming. John saw the creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to the one on the throne. The elders fell down and worshipped. They said to God, You are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, because you have created all things. Then John saw a scroll in the Lord's right hand. A mighty angel asked, Who is worthy to open the scroll? No one in heaven was worthy. No one on earth was worthy. No one under the earth was worthy either. John began to cry loudly because no one was worthy. At last, one of the elders said, Look, the Lion of Judah may open the scroll. He is worthy. 
Then John saw someone near the throne. He was standing like a slaughtered lamb. He took the scroll, and the elders and living creatures fell down before Jesus, the lamb. The elders threw their crowns at his feet. They worshipped him and sang a new song. John heard thousands and thousands of angels around the throne. They sang in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slaughtered to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. John heard every creature everywhere worshiping the Lamb together. Wasn't that an amazing story, guys? The book of Revelation is filled with a lot of really interesting pictures. Just like usual, I'm going to ask you guys some questions about today's story to see if you guys were listening. So first one is, what book of the Bible did the story come from? The book of Revelation, right? What testament of the Bible is the book of Revelation in? The New Testament. In the vision, John saw someone seated on a throne, right? How many elders were seated around Jesus? 24. How many creatures were around Jesus' throne? 4. What did John see in Jesus' right hand? A scroll, right? And who was the only one worthy to open the scroll? Jesus, isn't that right? So when John first saw the sealed scroll, he cried because no one could open it. When the lamb who was slaughtered, Jesus, came to open it, all people and all creatures in heaven on earth will worship Jesus. He is the one true king who is worthy of our praise and worship. He is a good king and we can trust him to care for us. He is all powerful and will one day defeat sin and death once and for all. The sin will no longer have any hold over those who have put their faith in Jesus. We will be truly free to love God with our whole hearts. The visual of Jesus looking like a slaughtered lamb connects with Easter, which is in a few weeks. Jesus was killed on the cross so that we could have forgiveness and eternal life. Jesus is worthy. He deserves all praise, honor, and blessing. And that is exactly why we as Christians remember Jesus' sacrifice during Easter. So we are going to go over our key passage poster, which is also from the book of Revelation. Um, I'll give you guys just a second to see if you can remember it, and then I'm going to put it up on the screen and say it all together with you guys. So think about it really hard in your head. Alright, so it's from Revelation chapter 21 verse 5, and it goes, He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Jesus is the one true king. He is worthy of all of our praise and all of our honor. Though sin has hurt every part of God's creation, Jesus has promised to make everything new and right again. So as we remember, we read about an amazing vision that John had with tons of crazy cre and really interesting visuals in his vision. But the main thing to take away from John's vision is that Jesus, the Lamb, is worthy of our praise and worship. And he is who's going to deliver us from our sins. I'm going to encourage you guys to keep remembering and repeating our key passage poster and our big picture question. And maybe even going over this chapter with your parents and other family members and talking about it with them. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in again. I'm going to pray for you before you go. Um, so if you want to fold your hands, bow your head and close your eyes and just pray with me. Lord, thank you for this amazing story and this glimpse of what heaven may be like. We thank you that in this country we're able to freely worship you, Lord, and practice our faith with you. We pray that each day we would strive to be more and more like you, Lord, and that in everything we do, it brings you honor and glory. I pray for our friends at home in this time. Um, I pray that they're, again, staying safe and healthy, and I hope that um, for our friends who are in school that they are staying strong with their keeping up on their schoolwork and um, learning and not feeling too burnt out right now. I pray that you'll give them strength to finish out the rest of the year um, and that you'll show them just how loved they are, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much again for joining us for another ShakeOut. Um, I pray you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and can just use this lesson to go on with your lives and live for God. Thanks, guys.